Our top story tonight, and it's a big one, new guidance from the Oregon Health Authority is changing the way businesses can handle mask requirements. Yeah, they have the choice to either keep requiring masks or have a policy for requesting proof of vaccination. As you can imagine, there are a lot of questions. If you don't know who's vaccinated and who's not vaccinated, it's not necessarily a conversation I want to have with every single person. I we will ask for either the hard card, the hard copy, copy or a picture of it on your phone. The state says we need more than we'll do more. There's two. We have team coverage tonight breaking down not just the mask mandate changes, but also some big risk level changes to tell you about tonight. We'll hear from Audrey and Drew in just a moment. Let's begin, though, with Fox 12's Bridget Chavez. And Bridget, you checked in with some restaurants in Northwest Portland about what they plan to do. What'd you learn? Yeah, it's pretty even split here. We spoke with several restaurants. Some say they're going to require people to show proof of vaccination with those cards if they choose not to wear a mask, while others say they're going to stick with the current rules and require everyone to mask up. Mask off. This is like incredibly exciting to be able to get ourselves into the next chapter because we are now starting to work our way into uh, the phase in to, of normalcy. Falling in line with the CDC's new guidelines that says fully vaccinated people can nix their masks in most places, the Oregon Health Authority is leaving it up to businesses to enforce these rules. OHA says businesses can allow people to go maskless, but they have to check vaccination status for anyone who doesn't want to wear a mask or they can continue requiring everyone to mask up. Jim Rice, the owner of the Fields Bar and Grill, is thrilled by this news. A lot of people are excited about it. He says they'll check vaccine status if people don't want to wear a mask. If you're not vaccinated or prefer not to share your vaccine status, same rules apply. Keep the mask on unless you're sitting at your table. If they're wearing their mask, that's okay. But if they aren't wearing their mask, then we want to be able to see their uh, their card. Rice says he hopes this will encourage those still on the fence to roll up their sleeves. Hopefully this is a, a clear, clear message for people that they need to go get vaccinated. Over at Road Beers in the Pearl, it's still mask on. When people come up to the bar, we just hope that, you know, they keep their mask up. Um, they can order their drinks. And once they get to the table, they can take masks down. But uh, moving around the, the building, ask that we keep their masks up. Bartender Alex Cobb says they just wanted to keep things as is. It complicates things a little bit, and we just wanted to err on the side of caution. We felt it, this was the best option for us. And just to be clear, this new guidance does not mean that you cannot go into businesses unless you're vaccinated. It just gives those who are vaccinated the option to go maskless. And again, it is up to the individual business to decide. Reporting live in Northwest Portland, Bridget Chavez, Fox 12, Oregon.